Hello, my name is Dr. Michelle McCormick and I am an orthodontist at McCormick Orthodontics. So welcome, I know today we're gonna to talk about teeth and hygiene, keeping them clean, what teeth do, how they change, because we actually have two sets of teeth, so that's what we're gonna talk about first. Two sets of teeth. There's some animals that have lots of teeth over and over, some, teeth, some animals have no teeth, we have two sets. We have a set of baby teeth, there's 20. Then we have a set of adult teeth that come in and push the baby teeth out and there's 32. So overall 20 plus 32 is 52. 52 teeth we have. So this is an x-ray of someone who is has had no adult teeth come in. So we can see all the baby teeth in here and the adult teeth are growing underneath here in your bones. So that's someone who's pretty young. This is someone who's seven. So their x-ray looks like this. Their front four and bottom four baby teeth have been pushed out by all the adult teeth, but then there's still more adult teeth in the back growing, right? So this is what a seven-year-old looks like with their teeth. Eight starts to get even busier where these back teeth start growing more and more. And then here, this is someone who's 11. So they only have a few adult teeth left. So that's called mixed dentition. It's mixed because we talked about the 20 babies and the 30, 32 adults. They're in between. They have some adults and some babies. And then here is an adult with her teeth and all of the adult teeth with no baby teeth left. So it takes, most of the time it takes until you're 12, 13, 14 to lose all your baby teeth. Um, and get all of your adults except for sometimes some of the molars all the way in the back like wisdom teeth. Um, so what do the teeth do? Teeth help us talk and make sounds like S's and T's. They help us swallow because if you were to swallow, try swallowing without using your teeth. Your tongue's just going to go everywhere, right? So it helps us swallow. They help us chew. So as you bite into something, you bite it off, and then as it moves back in your mouth, your tongue helps it move back. The, the bowl, the little ball of food gets smaller, and then we can swallow it. So they help us chew. Um, and it helps us breathe as well, because your tongue moves forward to let air in. Um, so next, how do we take care of teeth? So it's very, very important to clean our teeth. Um, so this is my buddy here. Um, he's a dragon, but he happens to have adult human teeth. Um, and so we have this pretty ginormous toothbrush. And so to talk about brushing, we should brush about two times a day. If you have braces on or something orthodontic, like an appliance in there, sometimes we have to brush for three times a day. Your doctor will tell you what to do. And the instructions are this. A lot of people brush like this and it doesn't really get all the surfaces. What I like to say is if you brush, you can do that, but really brushing in circles, so circles to the right and circles to the left, makes the bristles go on all the different surfaces. You don't wanna press hard either. So you wanna press nice and light, circles in different directions, and try to think about 10 circles for each bunch of teeth. You're gonna get really sudsy in there. You're gonna to have to spit a bunch of times, but this is gonna get all the surfaces. Sometimes when a tooth hasn't been brushed for a while or it's about to fall out, the gums can get a little bit, they can bleed a little bit. You might see your toothpaste might look a little bit pink. T typically that's not a bad thing. It just means that area has to be cleaned more, but you can always show an adult in your house or your dentist when you talk to them next and talk to them about it. But two to three minutes, you wanna get all the surfaces. You can see how many surfaces there are for this guy. You have to get inside and do the circles, on top and do the circles, outside and do the circles. So that's the deal. There's also flossing. So the toothbrush doesn't go in between your teeth. So this isn't a piece of floss, it's just a piece of yarn, but to show you, you wanna wrap it around your finger a bunch of times, not too tight or the top of your finger might turn purple or fall off. So you wanna go like this. And when we get in there, you can go ahead and you go in between the teeth. A lot of you might still be getting help with this. You wanna push up, not so that it hurts, and then you wiggle it down and wiggle it back out. And the idea of this is it cleans the in-betweens of our teeth where the toothbrush can't get to. So I will show you, we have special packs for you guys. So we have a toothbrush for you, we have a floss, we also have these things called disclosing or brushing tablets. They're pretty cool. 
you want to use them you can use them two different ways you can use them before you brush to tell you where the dirt is on your teeth where you have to brush a little longer you can also do it after you brush to see if you did a good job so i will show you this is somebody before putting one of these in and this is somebody after so what it does is the color this is kind of purplish color they go ahead and it attaches to where any dirt is so you know that up near the gums there's naturally going to be on this person and for most people more stuff to clean so make sure you definitely don't just brush down here guys make sure you do your circles up on the gums too so you guys will get some of those tablets in your pack it's going to be a pack like this with all that stuff in there there's also a little um packet of information um, that you can read through or you can give uh, somebody the adult in your house so um, lastly, I have uh, a book to read to you. So I'm gonna read a book and it's called Just Going to the Dentist. So I'm sure you guys know who these guys are. I've read lots of books to my kids with these characters, um, but this one's about the dentist. So mom took me to the dentist. She said I needed a checkup. I didn't need a checkup. My teeth were just fine, but we went anyway. And the doctor's name is Dr. Gum, a dentist for small critters. At the dentist's office, we met the nurse. She gave us a great big smile. I think she was showing off her teeth. The dentist wasn't ready to see me, so we sat in the waiting room. Other kids were there too. One of the bigger kids had wires all over her teeth. Mom said they were braces. I thought they were neat. I hoped I would get braces. We had to wait a long time, but there were toys to play with. When it was my turn, the nurse came to get me. I had to see the dentist all by myself, but I didn't mind too much. We went into a really weird room. It looked like a spaceship. I sat in a funny chair. It was called a dentist chair. The nurse put a bib on me. There's the bib. Then the nurse said that she was going to clean my teeth. It tickled a lot. She told me to spit in the sink. No grown up had ever asked me to spit before. That was pretty cool. Next, she took pictures of my teeth. They were called x-rays, just like Super Critters x-ray vision. Then the dentist came in. He looked inside my mouth with a little mirror on a stick. The pictures of my teeth were ready, so the dentist called in my mom and we all looked at the pictures of my teeth. Here, those are the x-rays. The dentist said I had one cavity and that he could fix it right then. They put me back in the dentist chair. The dentist told me he was going to give me something so I wouldn't feel anything. I closed my eyes real tight and counted to 10. Before I knew it, the dentist said it was all over. I hardly felt anything. Yuck. Then my mouth went numb. It was weird. I couldn't feel my tongue. Then the dentist said he was going to drill a hole in my tooth and clean out my cavity. There was a lot of noise in my mouth, but it didn't hurt. When the dentist finished, he sent me out to my mom. The nurse gave me a treat for free. You know, going to the dentist wasn't so bad. It just made me tired. So I think this book is pretty cool because it tells you a little bit about going to the dentist and everybody's office and everybody's dentist is a little bit different. Um, I think the reason the character is tired at the end is because sometimes when we do something new, it can be scary and um, you can feel anxious or nervous. And when that happens, you know, after the experience is over and you're realizing it was not that bad, a lot of times you feel worn out because you got so excited and nervous at the beginning. So I think that's why they were nervous. Um, I would like to say I'm not that kind of dentist. I'm an orthodontist. So I do the braces that they were talking about in the book that the critter said were cool. I do expanders, I do braces, Invisalign, retainers, all these sorts of things. Um, so I wanted to show you some pictures of some teeth that I work on. So I don't do the fillings, I do this sort of stuff. So if you come into me and you have crowded teeth, meaning they're not all lined up, there's just not enough space for them. Or there's spaces between your teeth. So I close the spaces so that the teeth function better and they actually it protects your gums when you close the spaces. This is what I had. So some of you guys might have this. This is an underbite. The bottom teeth, are in front of the top teeth like this, right? So that's an underbite. This is an overbite, this is the opposite. This is the top teeth coming forward or the bottom teeth that are back. Some of you might have this. 
This is a deep bite. It means the top cover the bottom by a lot. And you can't see many of the bottom teeth. And then this is the opposite. This is open where the front teeth don't touch. This makes it really hard to eat sandwiches because when you bite into the sandwich, you can't cut it off real well. This is a cross bite where the top doesn't match over the bottom and that sometimes the top is inside the bottom. In a good healthy bite, the top bite should be completely outside of the bottom. This is the last one. This is a mixture of a few of them. Let's look at it. We have some crowding. We have the cross bite where the top is inside. And then we also, the middles don't match up, the centers of the top and bottom. There's a few things we'd be working on with that patient. So the kind of dentist I am is called an orthodontist and I straighten teeth and I help grow bones. Thank you for listening today. We learned about what teeth do. We talked about um, what ages different teeth come in. We talked about cleaning teeth with our buddy here. We talked about, we read a book and we talked about um, straightening teeth. So if you guys were to learn one thing from this, I would say, I would hope you learned how to brush your teeth. So it's about two minutes. And then we also wanna do it with the circles and you'll have the tablets that we give you to help you figure out if you did it well. Thank you guys.